It started as a whisper, became a buzz, then a secret. The secret is out. This is where superstars are born. This is NXT. And we're starting this card off with some fireworks. Let's do this. The enclosure is in place, and the superstars are ready to roll. Time for the steel cage match we all anticipated. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Oh, we aren't going anywhere. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Paris, France, the Warrior Princess. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. And her opponent, from the Garden of Eden, the Irresistible Force. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Here we go. Steel cage action kicking off here. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, moonsault. Man, did you see the height on that? Whip. You gotta believe this one's over. She's starting to take a beating. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. Slow down, Cole. Your tone seems to suggest you think she's in trouble here. Trust me, it's going to take a lot more than this to keep her down, especially given the magnitude of this match. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight. Oh. And you know what? I think it's working. Up in the fireman's carry. What a slam! Impact. 
beautiful. It'll jar your spine. Incredible. Boom! <laughs> Drop kick. <laughs> it's the mark. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. From behind. <laughs> Elbow drop with authority. <laughs> Harsh impact. I don't know how much more of this he can take. This might just be the end of the road for her here, guys. Well, the good news for her is that it appears it's going to be over shortly. Man. She might have it. Just some great... This might be it! Oh, my! I knew it was only a matter of time. She is on fire. What a stop! Good grief! She's turning the tables. Ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. She's able to get out of the way there. Ooh, that's the impact. Springboard! Feet up! Splash! You gotta be kidding me! And this has just been a hellacious match inside this Hell in a Cell. See that again. Yeah, you and me both. She got her with a reversal. <laughs> Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man. Here's the cover. And a kick out, not even close on that. Yeah, this early, no chance. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. You mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship. It saw Jimmy Superfly Snooker clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho. They continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. And now one more time. Nail it. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Byron, let's get another look at that. You'll get no argument from me, Michael. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. 
springboard. Look at her go. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time. So Up in the fireman's carry. That should do it. She comes up big with a reversal. Hook day! Hopefully this WWE action is helping to get through those midweek blues. A second time. Oh, this one is over. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Well, the idea here is to debilitate your opponent and give yourself time to climb over the cage wall and out to the floor. Got the reversal. Ooh, what impact. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met in... Yes! Unreal performance! I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never fail to surprise and amaze. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. And last but not least. Here is your winner, the Warrior Princess. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.